dressers. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Good morning you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, starting with a little few days in my life vlog And I had myself a slow morning I originally woke up at 8am And then I fell back asleep and set my alarm for 9am And then I fell back asleep and finally got out of bed at 10.30 So here we are Got up, brushed my teeth, washed my face, made a coffee, and then I just logged on to work. I need to make a better morning routine because my morning routine lately has been low-key unhealthy. Getting out of bed 30 minutes before work is nice because I get to sleep in and I feel like I haven't been able to sleep in lately on the weekends because I keep planning things in the morning. I need to get out of the habit of, since I don't start work until 11, like sleeping until 10, 10.30 because that's not healthy. I need to like be productive in the morning, I feel like. That's my rant about my morning routine. I need to get better about it, but having a coffee, logged on to work. I just finished checking Slack and emails and we'll probably do a little bit more and then go ahead and make some breakfast. But I just wanted to talk to the vlog since I hadn't talked to it yet this morning and say welcome back. If you guys are not subscribed already, you should subscribe down below and stick around. We make a lot of fun content around here that you would probably enjoy. So hit the big red subscribe button on my channel or on this video i think there's like a subscribe button somewhere i honestly have no clue so yes yeah, stick around you follow my instagram it's at hg riddle underscore and yeah that, that's about it <laughs> it drives me nuts that i can't really vlog in my bedroom anymore because of the screaming children because i feel like that's where all of the good natural light is and that's where i just do most of my living nowadays i do Love that corner, but I do spend the most time in my bedroom, especially when working. So I feel like when vlogging and having screaming children in the background, it's just kind of like a pain in the butt. And I really don't like it. It actually is starting to drive me nuts. So I came out here to tell you what I'm about to do in the bedroom. So then I can show you in the bedroom. So I don't know if anyone else has this issue, but I feel like I am constantly reorganizing all of my clothing drawers because I'll organize a clothing drawer and then for a while I'll be really good about folding things and putting them back in the drawer properly but then I reach a point where I start throwing things again and then the drawers just end up like this I am embarrassed to be showing this but it's just a hot mess not to mention that this is all my summer stuff so I'm gonna go through a lot of this and then sell things on Poshmark and get rid of things because I didn't wear half of this stuff this summer and I feel like if I didn't wear it this summer I probably won't wear it for summers to come. It was probably like a last season trendy item that isn't trendy anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and organize this and go through it. Luckily enough this is the only drawer that really looks like this. The other two drawers like my t-shirt and sweatpants drawer 
and then my jean drawer are all pretty organized it's just this drawer that gets so messy so fast and i think it's mainly when i go to go out at night i get overwhelmed with not having any options for going out clothes and then things get thrown so we're gonna do a little bit of organizing today and get rid of some stuff and kind of get my life back together with this one single drawer that I think I'm gonna get rid of. Just some sweaters, shirts that I bought that I never wore, and just some stuff that I've had for a few years that I didn't wear anymore. Ironically, it's all this lime green, so maybe I should just stop buying lime green stuff because I don't ever end up wearing it. I did wear this for a lot, but I honestly, I just need to get rid of it. I have no explanation, but I just have the feeling that it needs to go, so getting rid of this and a few other things I listed on Poshmark. Hopefully I can get those out of my apartment soon and if they don't sell, I typically leave things on Poshmark for like a week and then if they don't sell, I just donate them. So I'm gonna go ahead and list them and then if they don't sell, I'll just put them in a pile to bring back home to donate. I'm literally so chilly in this apartment lately, but at this point I'm at the will of my building management because they control the heater. So whenever you guys are ready, you can turn the heat back on because it's getting chilly over here and I'm just wrapped up in blankets all day. But I'm currently sitting in this corner. I have my work laptop and my normal laptop like behind you guys. I have yet to get rid of this piece of furniture that was replaced by the IKEA furniture. I've been trying to sell it on Facebook Marketplace, but it's honestly been kind of a pain in the butt. I had one person that was going to buy it, but they were being a little bit like, not sus, but is a little bit difficult to work with so I'm trying to find someone else to buy it now because I had multiple people message but I was trying to be loyal to that one person that wanted it because I was trying to deal with it for them but they were just making it too complicated and they weren't listening to when I would be able to help them come get it so it's still here and lately I've been using it for my laptop to sit on as like a little movie stand I'll put my laptop on there and put on vlogs or something else while I'm working and then we'll just have a little like TV setup, I don't know. And it's made me think that maybe I get another piece that's similar to it, but a little bit thinner and maybe acrylic so it blends in a little bit better or get some sort of stand or something to put my laptop on because once I get rid of this and actually sell it, I'm not gonna have it anymore to put my laptops on and I'm not gonna be able to do this little movie setup. So I've been thinking about it. I saw these little podium type things that were decor pieces from where was I the other day? It wasn't West Elm. Maybe it was CB2. It might have been CB2 where they had these little three podium things that were essentially decor but it would have been the perfect height to put a laptop on. Also it's just kind of a cool little accent piece. So maybe I could invest in that. I'm not sure. I do think that I'm gonna miss this piece once it's gone just because of the fact that it's convenient for the laptop. So I'm gonna have to think of a plan B to do that situation. Anyways, I just wanted to fill you guys in on where I was at today. So I did a little bit of laundry earlier. In between doing work, I just ran to the laundromat and did a bunch of clothes that needed to be dried, like pajamas, socks, underwear, towels. You know the whole ordeal. I don't know what it is with me, but I go through so many pairs of socks and underwear and towels and pajamas that I feel like I have to do laundry every single week and I try to do it every two weeks but when I do it every two weeks I feel like things just pile up so much that it becomes a little bit ridiculous so I've been doing laundry literally every week lately and I just haven't showed it because I feel like it's so boring but it's kind of been a pain in the butt so I did a lot earlier and now I've been sitting here like I said multitasking and watching some vlogs a lot of people release vlogs today so I was watching like Julia Havens Rachel Radke released a new vlog last night, Maggie McDonald, Ellie Thuman, and then I really like the BFFs podcast, but they're YouTube channels, so you can actually see them talking. I just think they're so funny. So that's what I've been up to so far. Okay, 
my camera died. I feel like it's not a vlog if my camera doesn't die at some point and it officially died. So here we are. I wanted to do a little book review because I finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo the other day and I'm kind of disappointed in the book. I've been on this kick lately where I've been reading a lot of TikTok books. So whenever I see a really popular book on TikTok, I'll buy it and read it. And it's just been like this fun thing that I've been into. Honestly, it's been what has gotten me back into reading is looking up these TikTok trendy books and then giving them my own personal review. So maybe I'll do like a little YouTube video on reading TikTok's most popular books because I think I've read the majority of them at this point. But anyway, so I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and everyone literally raved about this book. They're like, it's five stars. It was the best book I've ever read. It's what got me back into reading. It was amazing. And I, don't get me wrong, it was a good book. I really enjoyed it. It was different than any other book that I've been reading because I've been reading a lot of romance books. I read some thriller books like Verity. Yes, it was different than those kind of books and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I ended up giving it four out of five stars on Goodreads just because I feel like at certain points it was dragging on a bit and I just didn't really understand the ending. I didn't really think it was that good. It wasn't anything super shocking and I don't know. That was just my personal opinion on the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I feel like I've read a lot other a lot of other books lately that I liked a little bit more, like all of the Colleen Hoover books. It ends with us, so good, Verity, so good. And this one, while it wasn't written by Colleen Hoover, it, it just, you know, it, it let me down a little bit. So I am off of the TikTok trend books and honestly looked up a book that had good reviews on Amazon. It's called Project Hail Mary. It's a sci-fi book, which is very unlike me and very off-brand, but I was reading the description of it and it looked really good. Also, it's being made into a movie in 2022 with the lead actor being Ryan Reynolds. So I figured if they're making the book a movie with the lead actor being Ryan Reynolds, the book has to be somewhat good. So I'm about... how many pages? I'm 143 pages into this bad boy and it's like 500 pages. This is a thick book. I'm excited to read it. It's pretty good so far. It is dragging a little bit, but I wonder if that's just because I'm not used to reading sci-fi books, but so far so good. I'll give like a full review of it at the end. Just figured I'd give a little book review because I feel like I've been doing those a lot lately in the different vlogs that I've been doing because I feel like every vlog that I do, I have finished one book or two books or something of that sort. So I'm just giving a little review, but I really do think that it would potentially be fun to make a video where I give my personal opinion and ranking on all of the TikTok trend books that I've been reading because I think I've read all of them at this point. I read The Perfect Marriage, but I read that before it was a TikTok trend book. No, that's 100% a lie because I found it on TikTok. So I read The Perfect Marriage, The Last Thing He Told Me, It Ends With Us, Verity, Malibu Rising, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and I feel like some others that have been really popular lately. So I feel like I could maybe do a whole video of just giving my personal opinion on TikTok books because I feel like I have some hot takes. And a lot of the books that everyone was giving five stars to, I gave it like three or four just because I didn't understand the hype. So maybe I'll film one of those soon. That's my rant. That's where I'm at. All right, good morning, you guys. It's Friday. Happy Friday. It's the beginning of all of the Halloween festivities. I am a little bit more dressed up, at least from the top today. I'm still wearing shorts on the bottom just because I just got off of a call where I had to have my camera on. So we're a little bit more dressed up today. I'm also multitasking with work stuff, but I figured I could multitask and talk to the camera at the same time. Yeah, last night I didn't vlog because I needed to run to the Halloween store to get a few more things for my costume and you'll see the costume tonight and you'll also see the costume tomorrow because I think I'm gonna vlog today and tomorrow. I walked all the way to Union Square to go to Party City. I got all the way there and realized that the line was an entire block long, like avenue length, not block length, not whatever it's called length, like literally an entire avenue long and I was like, miss me with that. So I walked all the way up to Michael's and I'm so glad I didn't try to wait in that line because I went on TikTok this morning and of course I'm on New York TikTok. I literally saw that that same line that I almost waited for for Party City was two hours long. Someone said they waited in it for two hours. I'm like, I 
could not imagine because what if you wait in that line for two hours and then you get inside and realize they don't have what you want then you just wasted two hours of your entire life so glad i didn't like end up waiting in that line i went to michael's and honestly michael's was pretty bare too and the line to check out was long but there was no line outside of the actual store so i got a few things that i needed and my both costumes are lacking a little bit this year i have the main dresses that i need and some of the accessories but Hopefully people will just be able to tell. I'm also doing group costumes. So the first costume I'm doing with a huge friend group and the second costume I'm doing with my boyfriend and his costume is like very obvious. So hopefully they'll be able to understand what I am just based off of his costume. So that's what I was up to last night. I also went and got some liquor. I think I'm gonna try to make a fun drink tonight. It was like two Thanksgivings ago, maybe three Thanksgivings ago. We went to a family friend's house for Thanksgiving and he made bourbon with cider and it was literally so good and i think about that drink to this day so i went out and bought four roses bourbon last night and a thing of cider to make some fun little holiday fall cocktails for tonight i also got some stuff for espresso martinis for a different weekend i'm probably not going to mix bourbon and vodka just because i just feel like that's a deadly combo so i'm not going to do that but i did buy some other liquor stuff and i also bought high noons because high noons are the superior drink in my personal opinion so that was last night and then today like i said i'm working all day and then i'm going to a halloween party tonight in hell's kitchen and we're not going to bars or anything we're literally just doing a little apartment party where they invited a bunch of friends and we're doing a huge group costume so that's my plans for this evening for the first night of halloween and then tomorrow we have a different party at a different friend's apartment just gonna work today i need to clean up my apartment a little bit i might do some more laundry because my laundry basket was so full and i feel like it's just constantly getting full so i just need to get on top of it before it overflows again and yeah, I don't know what else today really has in store, but that's kind of my plans. I'm so glad it's Friday because I'm ready for this weekend. Not necessarily like the Halloween festivities and drinking, just ready to not be working this weekend. I feel like this week kind of dragged, so I'm very excited that today is Friday. Also, side note, just because I'm staring at it, I definitely manifested that my building management would turn my heater back on because you know how i was like complaining yesterday about how it was freezing in my apartment and i was at the will of the building management for the heater literally around 10 p.m last night i'm laying in bed and hear this whistle and i remember this from last year and it was so annoying but my heater in my bedroom specifically does this little whistling noise because of this thing on the end of it and i always cover the thing and i don't know if you're supposed to do that because the heater could potentially explode but i do it anyway because it's really really annoying but the heater turned on and i was like i was literally just complaining about this earlier today so i definitely put that out to the universe and the universe sent it back to me so thankful for that i finally have the heater working but that also just means that i'm probably gonna run my ac with the heater at the same time because the heater makes the apartment really really hot so electricity bill up it's fine it is what it is but i just wanted to say that because i thought that that was really funny that i was literally complaining about that last night and then turn on so love that for me okay literally like 10 hours later but it's okay not actually that was really dramatic it's like five hours later i made some cauliflower pizza crust with normal cheese from Trader Joe's honestly it kind of sucks but this is all I have for dinner until I go and do groceries. Today is one of those days where I'm just extremely paranoid in my apartment. If you know you know, if you don't know, go back and watch the last few vlogs and you'll know why. I've just been hearing some very weird sounds today and I don't know if it's the sound of literally the brick falling off of my wall or of little critters crawling around. I don't know but I'm not here for it and I've been hearing it all day and so I've literally been on edge all day. So that's where I'm at. I also have been working and I'm just literally so exhausted. I had a second coffee at four. I did double espresso shot with water. So literally an Americano with vanilla. I don't know why I didn't just say I had an Americano. I had to explain it in the weirdest way possible apparently. But I had an Americano and it did not wake me up at all. I'm literally so tired. But it's almost six o'clock. So I have about an hour left of work. So I'm gonna continue to eat and hang out and I honestly might make a cocktail in like 30 minutes just to start pre-gaming. I think that the event that we're going to tonight starts at 9 30 and our friends want us over at their apartment at like 7 30 8 o'clock so I kind of have to start getting ready soon but I'm really excited for you guys to see my costume and the whole costume put together because it is an iconic costume with an iconic crew and I just hope that I pull it off well.
The only thing is that my hair doesn't match the character's hair, but I didn't want to dye my hair since I just got it done because I was afraid that it would literally stay in my hair. So that's the only thing that's missing from the entire outfit, but hopefully it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I'm going to talk while I do my hair and makeup for this costume, but I have an update on the whole dresser debacle since the last time I talked to you guys, which was not that long ago. So if you guys have been following along on this dresser debacle, I ordered a dresser from Urban Outfitters and it has been the biggest pain in the butt to try to get literally into my apartment. Like it's been purchased, it was paid for, it was paid off, everything. I was just running into difficulties with the delivery people trying to get it like physically inside of my apartment. So I think the last place that I left you guys off was that the delivery service basically told me that they canceled my item and that I told them that I canceled my item when I didn't actually cancel my item and they were going to ship it back to Urban Outfitters. Well, I got a little heated on the phone and the person that I was on the phone with essentially told me that she was going to make it right and was going to call Urban Outfitters and have the white glove expedited so that I could get the dresser in the two to three days since I had last talked to her. Yeah, that didn't happen. And I'm no longer getting the dresser, basically, to sum it up, because uh, after I had talked to her, a few hours later, I get an email notification saying that my dresser has been refunded from Urban Outfitters. And I was like, that's really weird, but I'm over calling these people today. I'm over discussing this issue today. I'm going to call tomorrow. So I call the next day, and I'm like, hi, I've been having issues with your delivery service rider and i was on the phone with them for 30 minutes yesterday and they told me that they were going to call you guys to get white glove expedited since they kind of screwed me over but now i'm getting this email saying that my order has been refunded <laughs> and the urban outfitters customer service person literally tells me she goes oh yeah that's really weird because in our system Ryder literally put a note in yesterday after i'd gone off the phone with lady that I definitely wanted to cancel my item and that they refused to deliver to my apartment. Quote unquote, Ryder is refusing to deliver to this apartment. I was like, okay, icing on the cake. She was like, well, we can, we can try to figure it out. I can ship the dresser back out to you. We can figure this out. I can call Ryder. And I was like, nope, no thanks. I don't want the dresser anymore. I do not want it. So long story short, I'm back on the hunt for a new dresser. So if you guys have any recommendations that aren't Urban Outfitters, let me know and that aren't super expensive let me know really sad though because i was very very excited for that dresser and now whenever i go online to look for dressers i'm haunted by the urban outfitters dresser because the whenever i put in dresser in the google search bar literally that dresser is the first one that pops up i'm like this is just gonna haunt me in my sleep tonight because and every night from here on out because i really wanted that dresser and i tried so hard to get that dresser and the delivery company just straight up sucks they're awful they suck if anyone has any recommendations please let a girl know and also let a girl know if you had issues with the delivery service of that particular brand because if you did i don't want them <laughs> i just want a delivery service that's easy to work with from here on out even though i know that probably won't be the case that's the final update on the furniture debacle and i haven't bought a new dresser since because i'm literally terrified to work with any of these people anymore and at this point I'm like is it even worth it to get a new dresser should I just wait a year and then move out of this apartment and then figure out a dresser situation because it's hard to get anyone to walk up a dresser on a fifth floor walk up so should I just move into wait till I move into a building with an elevator because the next building I live in let me tell you something it's gonna have in unit washer dryer and it's gonna have an elevator so I'm holding myself to that because I can't do this anymore and yeah so at this point I'm like do I just wait it's only a year. Do I just wait? It's I don't have to spend the money right now. And that's where I'm at. Getting ready to do a little makeup routine. I'm going to wear more makeup tonight than I normally would just because I, it is a group costume and I want to not half-ass it. So, wow, my hair looks great like this. So I'm going to do a little makeup and then finish doing my hair and I will show you guys the after product. I know I said I was going to talk and do my hair and makeup at the same time, but I'm just not capable of that and I just need to get the story time out clearly. So I'll check in with you guys after. <laughs> okay, so this is the look and I think it turned out really good. The character that I'm being tonight has a braid in her hair and then I don't really know what makeup to do because she doesn't really wear makeup, but I felt like I needed something on my face. So I just decided to do this little makeup look, but I feel like it looks so good. I'm actually like 
impressed with my skills for this and now comes the outfit part which sneak peek it's on my bed this is the outfit of the night I'll give you like three seconds to guess what i am okay my whole friend group is doing the cast of shrek so i'm fiona unfortunately i don't have red hair and didn't want to spray my hair red but we have donkey gingerbread man lord farquad shrek Puss in Boots, and there's another one too. But I'm Fiona, and I feel like I pulled this off pretty well for not being a redhead. So we have the braid like she wears. I bought this green velvet dress off of Amazon. Honestly, a good investment because it fits really well. And then I literally went to the craft store last night to try to find gold ribbon, and this is the closest thing gold ribbon that I could find. So we're working with it, and then I have the crown. I'm just holding it for now because it gets stuck in my hair when I actually put it in there so I'm gonna wait to put it in there but this is the outfit of the night I love it how do you feel about our boyfriends acting like this honestly like they're getting so much attention I'm just like what about me and my beautiful dress like this is it this is the money maker right here at least in the back I can't see how much it's you guys aren't getting the most. That's our characters. I already told you mine. This is my husband. What are you doing to me, Swole? Ah, Dragon! Who's it? Yeah! Oh, Donkey! 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 Oh, Donkey! Oh, Donkey! Flamethrower and just like put your mouth to What is happening? What is happening? I can take my hairspray and put it back. There you go! Baby Jean Bob. Oh, wait. Postable is the wrong movie. Baby Jean Bob. Boom! Like she's a raging cool bitch. Oh, yes. The sword. 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 Apologies for the dishwasher running in the background. My dishwasher is literally so loud. Honestly, it might be too loud. Hold on, let's move locations really quickly. Okay. Moving into my room where I can shut my door and you cannot hear the dishwasher. At least I don't think you can. Okay, you can hear it a little bit, but it's not as bad. Today is Saturday. Last night was a lot of fun. My friends threw a party in Hell's Kitchen like I was talking about. We all dressed up as Cast Shrek and it was literally so much fun. I had such a good time. Was definitely... A bit tipsy coming back here last night. I had one too many drinks, but you know what happens to the best of us. I ate McDonald's last night and took Motrin, so I'm not feeling the hangover today. And if I am hungover, I'm masking it. Like, I'm doing a really good job of masking it with the Motrin and the food and the water. So I'm just going to continue to drink water throughout the day. But I have other Halloween plans tonight with a completely different outfit. I'm doing a couple's costume with my boyfriend. And... That's a little bit later, but I literally have no plans this weekend other than the parties at night, which I'm honestly super thankful for because I can kind of have a weekend to myself. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go mosey on to a coffee shop somewhere in the East Village. I want to try one that I haven't tried before, so I need to Google map that actually. I've tried a decent amount of coffee shops in the East Village, but I feel like there are literally so many and I've been going to the same ones over and over again for a while now. And I just want to mix it up and want to try something different. So I'm going to look up a new coffee shop and mosey my way over there and then probably come back and just lay in bed and watch vlogs. My school homework doesn't start again until Monday. I My new class is operations, but it doesn't technically start till November 1st. So I have this whole weekend to chill out before I need to do class again. I could read a little bit of my book but I just really don't have any responsibilities this week. I also need to edit this vlog because it goes up 
literally tomorrow so i need to do that but i yeah i'm just honestly grateful that i didn't book my weekend and make it super packed because that's been my weekend for the past several weekends in the city and sometimes it's nice just to have a weekend to yourself to breathe and i feel like that's what i really need to do this weekend so gonna have myself a little day a little morning it's not even morning anymore it's like 2 p.m so gonna have myself a little day but i just wanted to check in and say happy saturday This is tonight's fit. I'm gonna put you in the cabinet, like old time sake. And yeah, this is the fit. Can you guess? Babe, you wanna come get in it to solidify the outfit? Yes. <laughs> All right, so this is the big reveal. Yeah, me by myself doesn't make sense. It's Mario and Princess Peach. Very good. I feel like we pulled it off well. I think we did like homemade outfits well, or yeah. like not like store bought or whatever well yeah but my outfits were all i feel like half-assed this weekend but i somehow pulled them all yeah no they look good thanks for your contribution to the vlog just wanted to show the full fit yeah makes sense with uh you know mario next to you thumbnail <laughs> yes so we're princess peach and mario big outfit reveal I bought this dress from Amazon, but I had to like hand make the belt and this and luckily I do have blue earrings But I don't have the blue pendant that she has so I feel like I kind of look like Barbie But at the same time when I'm sitting next to him, I feel like it's pretty obvious. So this is the outfit for the night And I think we're getting ready to head out in like 30 45 minutes But I do want to go ahead and I'm coming in here so I can turn the light in better lighting but I do want to go ahead and end off the vlog. So Princess Peach is ending off the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching the entire video if you made it to the end because this is a long one. If you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.